Hello everyone, my name is Kate and I'm back with another photo card storing video. I actually have most of the groups that I collect out here today. I have a lot to put away. I think with the exception of like One Way and Treasure. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of cards to put away today and I'm like really excited to finally get these out of their little clear boxes. Um, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks or so, um, but I've been just like waiting for a whole bunch of stuff to come in the mail. I have... Uh, a few new groups to show you guys as like today as well um i am going to be almost finishing my purple kiss collection i'm still waiting for one card to come in um if you follow me on instagram you've seen these covers but i did actually get around to decorating some of my binder covers i also got this binder in the mail from my friend she gifted me this and um i just put my ats collection in here i don't think i've shown my ats collection since my very first video on this channel so it has been a while but it's still around i've been a little bit unmotivated because i haven't been liking some of the pricing and um that i found like for cards and stuff but i have got a few cards from last era and i'm gonna be putting them away i still have a like maybe three or four more left to collect for this era also just an update for my ATs collection i did downsize um i mentioned that i was considering it in my like first ATs video um but yeah i've downsized most of my song hall collection which is really sad because he's like my bias and like probably gonna forever be my bias um but the boy is a little pricey we all know that and I just figure, you know, I can support him through my streams and through my screen and, you know, it's okay. I can, I can live. Um, also, I'm going to be adding P1 Harmony and T01 to my collection as well. I had a few P1 Harmony cards, but I was still like undecided, but I am going to be collecting in talk. Um, you might see some Ji Yoon cards pop in here and there because I do buy his Ji Yoon, um, but mostly in talk. And then for... T01, I'm going to be collecting Kyungo, and then you might see Chan pop up as well because I do buy his Chan. But yeah, that's like the update for like my new collections. I have my CIX Japan stuff to put away um, that did finally come in the mail, and then I also have a few pre order benefits for Hyunsuk to put away. So I think that's it. Oh, and then I have like a few cards for 17 that were gifted to me. I don't have a lot to put away for 17, but I do have a few 17 cards on the way, so that'll probably be in a future video. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started now, and I think we're gonna start with CIX, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so my CIX binder remains unchanged. It's still this very large, awkward photo, but they look cute, so it's fine. I did move a little film strip to the side. Um, I've literally just stuck these in here. Um, I actually just pulled these, so I was just like, okay, whatever, sure, I'll keep them. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna keep them right here. They probably will not stay here because I don't want them to, like, get damaged or something. Um, but these are, like, really, really cute postcards. So these were my pulls for the Japanese album. I ordered two sets, I think. So, yeah, those are my pulls. And then I also got these, like, the little file thing. I have Soon and Jin Young. I'm gonna put those away better, like probably off camera, um, but I just stuck them in there for now and get them like out the album. Um, but yeah, these cards are so gorgeous, so I'm just gonna put these away really quick. <laughs> Okay, so I finished putting that away. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear like this weird background noise, but we have cicadas. And if you live in a country or like in an area where they don't have cicadas, please consider how lucky you are because they are the loudest bug. They don't really bother humans except for when you're outside, but they are just everywhere in the summer and I hate them so much. They are so loud. Anyways. This is how the page turned out. This is like my Hyunsuk Soon page where I just put random stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just put that other Hyunsuk card back here. And then I have the Japanese All For You page right here. So that is it for the big binder. Now I'm going to move on to like my collect book stuff where I keep pre-order benefits.
I don't know if you guys can see like the holographic that well, but these are so, so cute. I love these. Oh my goodness. So then Yes24, I think these are, are they Mixer holographic, I think? And then Hot Tracks. And yeah, that was all I had to put away for Hyunsuk. And I am done with CIX. So now I'm going to move on to the girls. <laughs> I have Purple Kiss and Weekly cards to put away. Okay, so I have my Purple Kiss and Weekly binder. I only decorated the cover. I still didn't get around to making any sort of like inserts between the groups, but I like how the cover turned out. I think it turned out really cute. So I'm gonna just be removing all of these and then I have OT7 stuff to put away for the debut album for Purple Kiss. And then for Weekly, um, I really don't have that many cards to put away. I think I have a few Zoa cards um but still really cute and it's slow progress but it's progress so i'm happy with it Okay, so that is how everything turned out. Oh my goodness. Once I get that one chain card, I'm gonna be like so happy. I don't know why it's taking so long to arrive, but I'll be so happy when it comes. Wow, oh my goodness. I love Purple Kiss so much. This is making me really happy. <laughs> I'm trying to like stay calm for the camera, but I'm screaming. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like the whole like showing the backs thing. But I kind of like how like it looks with all the members across and then like their signatures are like really cute too so I thought that would look nice. Yay! So I just need that one card and that is it for Purple Kiss. And then for Weekly, I am going to be filling in the white spaces that I left for my last video now that I have all these extra white sleeves from Purple Kiss to use. Um, but I'm probably going to do that off camera. But for Weekly, the only cards that I have to put away are these three. So two from Weekend and then one from WePlay. Alright, so that is it for Girl Groups. I have this card as well as this one and that one. So this is complete. Oh my goodness. That makes me happy. I can just put that. Oh, not the hair on it. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm really excited. I'm going to put more white sleeves, like I said, off camera. But yes, that is it for girl groups. Um, next, I'm going to put my AP cards away. Okay, so here is my new AT's binder. And I understand why y'all love these binders so much. Having that up there is so, so cute. And I always had nowhere to put the season's greetings photos, so I thought it would like look really cute there. Also, like I just said before I did downsize, I kept some of the cards for like the first three albums because I worked really, really hard <laughs> to get them. And they're also my favorite and they just remind me of my earliest days of being an A to me. So I was like, they're not going anywhere. So yeah, I am still sad about it. I'm still grieving, <laughs> but I am okay. Um, I also was gifted some Sangha cards from my friend, which is like, why, why, why? Like, I don't deserve you. But I did keep a few Sangha cards, like, back here from, like, fan sign and stuff, and, like, those name tag cards and season's greetings. So I do still have a little bit of Sangha in my life. So I'm okay. Personally, I think that I'm going to keep the Sangha cards that I was gifted in a different binder because... I don't have that many sleeves that fit these like pockets so I'm gonna keep them elsewhere okay but let's talk about something what is it with the diary photo cards they are Yosan's cutest cards but like I just don't see them anywhere like nowhere nowhere that, that seems to be a stretch but I guess it was his era I don't know I see a lot of people start picking him up and like start to collect him 
which is great because yes appreciate him but at the same time like leave some for me like i need the diary cards asap <laughs> All right, so that is it for 80s. I'm still missing the diary, my music taste card. Both versions of the diary card. I do have the limited one. And then I have all of these ones. And then just one more for the A version. Him in that red suit with the peace sign. His hair is parted. It, it's so good. All right, so that's it for 80s. Next, I'm gonna put away P1 Harmony and Tia One. So this is like my newest collection binder um for p1 harmony and t01 i thought they would be cute to kind of store together because like they both got like one in their name so you know we need interactions i need the interactions okay <laughs> um just in the first pocket i just stuck this little postcard my music taste postcard i think um and then i have already set up the binder of how i want it to like be laid out and everything i just have not put anything in and then in the back i have um these little bookmark ticket things um from running together for t01 formerly t00 for t00 stuff i am not going to be really prioritizing those bigger photo cards if i do get them along the way like if i find them really cheap i'll probably get them but i'm really focusing on stuff that can fit in like the regular photo card pocket sleeve. Though Kyungho's face is on them, I'm just like, it's not gonna fit, so I'm just gonna save on space. Starting off with P1 Harmony, I have just these two cards to put away from their debut album. I literally cannot find these cards, like the other two cards. I see them nowhere, or if I do see them, they're gone in like 10 minutes or something. Like, they are always taken. I did have this one on the way, but then it arrived damaged. The seller did refund me and everything, but they just did not package it well at all. And we had words, but we figured it out and it was fine. But yeah, please y'all, a basic top loader, please. If you can't have a top loader, I will mail you the top loader so that you can mail it back to me. Like, I can't. But anyways, that, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. So first I just have his freakout card and then I have his breakout card and then I also have my music taste and then I still need like one more breakout one more freak out all right so that is how his cards look and then I have the Wonderwall fan sign photo card yay I'm really happy and I really like these cards they're so cute actually I think I want to organize these like how I did purple kiss so I'm gonna have them facing one another. All right, so that is it for P1 Harmony. So now I am moving on to T01 slash T00 era stuff. So here are the photo cards for that era and then now moving on to the current era i do have a few things i pulled this photo card so i was really happy i am chihun cursed though i literally pulled so much chihun that it wasn't even funny it looked like i had joined a group order for him and asked for him because i had almost all chihun inclusions um, but I did get one Kyungho, so that was really nice. And then I have been struggling a bit to trade for them, but it hasn't been too bad. Like, I feel like I am going to finish everything pretty soon. So here is a final flip through of my P1 Harmony and T01 binder. I feel like I've been really invested with these two groups lately. Like I have just been watching every little thing. Like I'm never behind. I've been just like obsessed um, these days. 
but yeah i'm like really excited it's not gonna be like a high priority collection because like my cix one always takes the cake it's really slow but when i do get stuff i get really happy so yeah that is it for this binder and then i'm actually almost done with everything i have like two things to put away for 17 and that would actually be it for me today so here's my under decorated 17 binder um it has changed since the last time you guys have seen it um i think that was one of my earliest videos was storing my 17 collection and i had it in a completely different big binder um than i have now but i did move everything to this binder a few months back and i actually might be switching again i am just not sure so like i said i do have um a few cards for ming hao on the way but i just wanted to put away this one card like actually these two cards because they were gifted to me and i feel like they deserve to be in here as well so i just have this card from incomplete and then i also have this one yeah that is actually it for all of the photo cards today all right, you guys, this is actually it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, the usual. I am so excited that these boxes are actually empty. This is kind of surreal, but I'm excited that I can just like start from square one and start to collect things again and actually have somewhere to like store them until I can film for you guys. Um, but yeah, that brings me to the end of my video. I am really excited for some upcoming comebacks. Um, One Wee's coming back, so that's like, ah, old things. And then CIX are hinting at the summer comeback that we know was going to happen, but they haven't actually dropped all the details yet. But I'm super excited, excited for that as well. And then we have Seventeen coming up. Just so many different groups and so little money. <laughs> um, I'm definitely taking it a lot slower this summer with collecting because finally fully vaccinated and i hope to like actually go outside and like do stuff with friends and stuff so i'm trying to cut back so i can actually afford to leave the house so yes i'm not sure um what my upload schedule is going to be like for the remainder of the summer but hopefully i can also show you guys like some summer vlogs and you guys can see what i'm up to um outside of you know the binders <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching bye